Welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel, where I talk about all kinds of edible, non-edible, tropical, subtropical things. And today, we are looking at the great areca palm. Now, I've got a surprising amount of interest on Eat Your Backyard about the areca palm. I've had people approach me and say, hey, you're the areca palm video dude. And, uh, yep, that is what happened. I became that guy. Uh, so... Areca palms, a palm from Madagascar, and I, this particular clump was here when I bought the house over 20 years ago, and it's still going strong. It's been through all kinds of phases of growth. These things are incredibly hardy. So this is a native of Madagascar, where I think it's somewhat endangered. However, in Florida, it is not endangered at all. Pretty much every house in my whole neighborhood has one. Uh, you could essentially create a areca palm forest uh, very quickly if you wanted to. And uh, so I do this thing where I clump it, let it clump up. I always like to have multiples. Then I stump it, and then it reclumps. Well, I've done that to this many times. And the reason is, well, in this case, they planted it in an odd place. It's right next to 220 volts of death-delivering electricity, right up through there. Uh, and so I, I don't really want it leaning onto that, you know. And I also don't want it falling onto that when the hurricanes come. Today, uh, Alberto. Tropical Storm Alberto is passing through the Gulf, and uh, you know it's lucky we didn't get much heavy winds from it. But uh, here, but you know, the hurricane's coming at some point, and we got to be thinking about that. So this one is regrown. I actually got some interesting comments when I trim it back severely. You know, where people had said, "No, you're killing it. You killed it. You've taken all the energy out of it." I said, "No, I've just made it angry. I've just motivated it to come back." And you can see it does. It has come back quite nicely. But a few few aspects of this palm tree we should keep in mind. First of all, some people call it the sugarcane palm. Why? Well, it's got this incredibly cool bamboo-like, sugarcane-like structure to it, which is really cool, but you know what it wants to do is it wants to do this all the time. It wants to just grow in. I recently trimmed it. It wants to grow in uh, these shoots all the time, which makes it look like just nothing but palm trees. It almost looks like a palm tree shrub, and so I trimmed that back. Uh, so that you can see the structure of it, because I, I really, I, I really want this, you know, that that <laughs> I want it, and I want to be able to see that. Also, I don't want it in my air conditioning. You know, I don't want it running up against the, the roof. And if you can see, you know, I do a pretty good job keeping all my plants away from the roof. And there's a lot of reasons, right? So here's the, this big cocos palm that's swaying in the breeze. I don't want my roof beaten by the palm trees. It, it ends up hurting the roof and it's also a conduit for bugs uh, so I, I keep it off of the off of the roof for that reason and keep these palms pretty well trimmed spend a lot of time out here and you can see all of these all of these palm tree things there's a couple robolinis and, and a cocos palm I keep it so that you can see the you know see the uh, the structure of them but something interesting that it does do is you'll get it'll do multiple multiple uh, I don't know of other palm trees that do this at all. Multiple palm trees off of a single stalk. So, look at this one. This is one, and then, ah, two, divides out. And I've never seen it where it goes to three, and then a four, but yeah, it, it grows multiples out of the same trunk, which is, I, I think, kind of unique. And if you look at this, you see that, look, this one does the same thing, and so does this one. Now, you might notice that, uh, what is all this? Well, it's basically a potential colony place for ants and cockroaches, but it's a gigantic structure where I chopped down previous ones. You can see where I, I uh, stumped it. And these were ones that were really, these were uh, aspects of the clump that were too close to the house, so I, I cut them down over time. And really what I've intended to do is to take the sawzall and kind of cut this out, bring it down, bring the rocks in, but it's such a gigantic thing, and now it's down into, you know, whatever. I, I just, it's kind of daunting, and I haven't wanted to deal with it. But, but ultimately, yeah, this is a really cool palm tree, the Eureka palm. Super easy to grow. Uh, one of the aspects of it is, of course, all the, the palm nuts it drops, which have almost 100% germination rate, and that can be kind of problematic. We haven't had that happen recently, so I don't see a lot of palm trees around it, but it's very typical to have just this area with all little sprouts of palm trees if I don't get rid of the seeds before they drop because almost all of them will drop. And of course our ever-present weed picking which is 
every single day that I'm out here just pulling up weeds because they never stop growing and uh, you know I'm not that fond of the look of the weeds growing into the rocks but so anyway my OCD always kicks in so the Eureka Palm here it is blowing in the tropical breezes of Florida I'd recommend you get at least one in your yard but understand it's a force for for reproduction is going to drop seeds and grow like crazy, but it also likes to be trimmed. So hey, if you like videos like this, maybe you're getting ready to plant some areca palms in your yard, then go ahead and subscribe to Eat Your Backyard. You'll be notified as new videos come out. Also, leave a comment and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. So thank you for watching. Eat.